Hi everyone, this is a video regarding a pretty important assignment that's going to be coming up in this course and the title of the assignment you'll see is Session 3 Journal Abstracts. So even though this is a few weeks into the course, I think it's important that we talk about it now and the reason is because some people do find this assignment a little confusing when they first approach it. Um, so we're going to begin by going here on the left hand side to the course dashboard because we need to click on here under announcements more announcements and we need to scroll until we find a stack of library books this open book here on this laptop computer is the image you're looking for this is where you will find a link to a different video which is the CCU online library guidance video and even if you already feel comfortable using the CCU online library to access academic journal article content and research studies, I would encourage you to watch this video. You might pick up something new. If you're new to the CCU online library or you haven't yet utilized these resources for this kind of research purpose, the video is also a great place to start for you. We'll scroll back up now, um, and with that said, once you've reviewed that video, we're going to go to the assignment description, which is here obviously under assignment folder. We're reviewing here the session three journal abstracts. So the first thing I want to say is that for this course, the final paper, which is in session five, is on a topic of your choice. So you will have the opportunity, separate from what we're looking at right now, you'll have the opportunity to submit a topic proposal for your final paper. That topic will be anything within the field of psychology that we've covered in this course that you feel that you can research sufficiently and have the required number of pages and the content that's necessary for that final paper submission. Um, if you so choose, and again, this is optional, you may utilize this journal abstract assignment in preparation for the research you'll need for your final paper. I need to make a very important point here. If you do use this journal abstract session three process to support the development of your ideas for your final paper, so let's say that your final paper topic is um, you know, trauma and the impacts on uh, substance abuse later in life. So children who've experienced trauma, does that increase their risk factor for substance use disorder in adolescence or adulthood? Let's say that's the topic that I want to study for my final paper. I have the option of utilizing this abstract assignment to find content for that final paper, but the important point that I'm trying to make here is please do not copy and paste your abstracts from session three into your final paper for session five. Do not reuse work that's already been submitted and graded for a previous assignment because this is called self-plagiarism and it will cause a lot of issues and challenges that we don't want to encounter. So assignments should have unique submissions. So when I say, oh, you can use your journal abstracts to develop your foundation for your research, what that means is that with this assignment, you'll be selecting three peer-reviewed academic journal articles. These are research studies and that these three studies may, if you so choose, be connected to your final paper topic so that you may prepare yourself for that research process. Now you might ask, well, I really liked some of my journal articles I used for the abstracts. May I use those same articles as sources for my final paper? Yes, you may reuse sources, but you may not reuse your written content. However, if you love the article and it supports your statements in the final paper, you may take your learning from it and integrate it again into that final paper submission at the end of the course with unique and newly developed writing about that content. So that's an important point on self-plagiarism. With that said, if you instead would like to use this journal abstract process to research three completely unrelated journal articles, three completely unrelated topics, so for instance, you could do one on um, strategies to 
had a long lasting marriage and what factors relate to length of marriage for couples. You could do another on chronic illness and the impacts on mental health. You could do another one on um, you know, use of EMDR as a treatment approach for people who've experienced acute trauma. Those are three different examples, things that are really um, kind of separate from one another in many ways. But you could do for this assignment three different journal articles from the CCU online library that are fairly unrelated in that regard. However, if you want to work a little smarter, not harder, you may find it beneficial to select articles that are related to the topic you think you might want to do for your final. Again, if you make this an exploration opportunity and look into something else for your articles, that's fine. Either way, the part that is not negotiable here is that all three of these abstracts, and abstract just means a summary, all three of these summaries of academic journal articles must address research studies that involve participants. So the video lecture that I just referenced on that course dashboard for the CCU online library will show you how to eliminate a lot of those book reviews or periodicals and other types of sources that can come up in the library that are not research studies, are not peer-reviewed academic journal articles. You'll want to use those filters. Look through your study. If you don't see a method and participants and results and a discussion, then that is not the article for you to use. We're not using things like Psychology Today or Very Well Mind. These need to be located in the CCU online library, and they must be research studies, academic journal articles that are peer-reviewed. So when you see articles that say participants, this or that, the methods were this or that, that's what we're looking for related to your topic. Um, we definitely want to avoid uh, use of things like meta-analysis, which is a review of a number of research studies, maybe 40 or 100 different studies that are summarized in one big old article. Uh, that's not what we're doing for this assignment. So for these assignments, we need articles that are not a meta-analysis or a book review, but instead are academic journal article research studies. So we'll pull up the CCU online library here. And I'll go ahead and log in. Uh, first, I'm going to search a journal article on eating disorders. Let's say that that's a topic in psychology that I want to cover. So I'm going to log in here. And then once I've logged in, and again, this will be covered in the online library guidance video. I'm going to pull up, um, I'm looking for full text and peer-reviewed articles. And I'm just going to pull up the first thing that um, kind of seems relevant here, and we're going to look into it. So I'm scrolling down. Okay, family involvement in eating disorder treatment among Latinas. So this is a 2019 article. Great, it's very recent. I'm going to click on it, and I want to look through. A good place to start is the abstract. And uh, let's look to see if this article would qualify. And I just picked this kind of out of a hat right now. Um, so it says there were 10 Latinas here with eating disorders. And it tells us their ages, um, the relatives, and how did we do this? They were randomly selected to receive six family enhancement sessions. They used a qualitative approach to gather data from 53 sessions. And ultimately, uh, they've got a conclusion. So again, an abstract is a summary. Do not copy and paste any of this content, but instead review it to make sure that the study is appropriate. So what I just clicked on is appropriate for this assignment because we have participants, we have a data collection process, and we have results of the study. Now if I want to read more, for here I can just scroll down and you can see obviously it's lengthy, uh, we've got information about the procedures, again here are the demographics, so we know that these are real people participating in this study. We have um, people from various countries. We have numbers about who has a job or doesn't. Um, 
So that's the kind of content we're looking for. We know that this is a research study with participants. So you can think back to like, you know, when you were a kid, if you did a science fair and you had the plants growing and you were watering them with water and milk and soda and seeing which one grew the fastest. We need variables. We need measurement procedures. We need results. We need a hypothesis. So it's not that, uh, you know, summary of a book or just kind of an opinion piece. We need a research study. So this example we just chose is going to be appropriate. Um, again, we need three of these. So once you select your articles, you're going to be developing abstracts. And again, abstracts are summaries. And when you develop abstracts, they need to be between 150 and 250 words. So this ends up to be roughly uh, three quarters of a page double space. This all should be in APA format as usual. And we're not directly quoting the articles in these abstracts. We're summarizing the content in our own words. Microsoft Word offers a word count option that you can utilize, but if it's easier, you may just go to Google and type in word count, and you'll see word counter um, where you count words and the text is recorded here. So let's say that I'm taking this paragraph, let's say this is your abstract. You're just gonna paste it into this box and it'll tell you how many words you have. Let's say that I added more to my abstract. Now I wanna see how many words do I have, 162. So what you're looking at right here, although it's a little on the short end, would qualify for the length that we need for this abstract assignment. Uh, because it's 162 words. If it goes too far over 250, that's going to be too long. And we definitely may not go under 150 without losing some points there. So make sure you have that minimum of 150 words for each of these three abstracts. You may put your APA format references for your articles either directly under each summary on the same page or you may create a reference page at the end. That's up to you as long as each journal article is summarized uh, and then referenced somewhere in your document in APA format. Back to the prompt. This is one of the most important parts of the video because there are four things that we must clearly address in these abstract summaries. So for each of the three, we need all four of these things. And this is how we show and demonstrate that we have knowledge and understanding of the content of the articles that we've selected. So the first piece of content here is an introduction. The introduction is just going to state, what was this research study about? What happened? Um, the methods, what tools were utilized to gather this information. So was this a survey? Was it an observation? Did they use interviews? Uh, back to this research study that we found in the CCU online library, we've got materials and procedure. So we can understand what tools were used for measurement as we read in depth in these sections. Once we hit the discussion, it's more about um, the results themselves and what that means. So this is where we'll get that information. Um, it looks like they did a lot of coding here. So it talks about how the audio sessions were integrated and um, they did some training. They listened to the audio tapes and you'll see as you go, there's more detail regarding the methods. But this helps us to understand how did they gather this information and ensure that it was appropriate for the research process for formal academic research. So methods, what exactly did they do with these people? Results, what did they find out? So results should be pretty easy to find in a research study because they should be called results. And this is going to allow us to go right to those. Um, so you'll just look for a heading that says results, and that will give you the content you're looking for to summarize here. So what did they come up with? What did they find out? That's the third part of your abstract. And the fourth and most important, arguably, part of your abstract is the discussion. So the discussion is a so what section. Uh, final statement, a couple sentences. Why do we even care? Because otherwise we're just reading through resource uh, research and it might feel kind of dull or boring and kind of walk away and forget about it. So why is this study important? 
Again, if we're back on the study that we've been looking at and we're talking about family involvement in eating disorder treatment, our discussion could include a statement about how harmful eating disorders can be and how incredibly valuable it is for families to come together to support a person struggling and um, how this could even benefit the family members. So why, why does this matter? Because this is a major public health issue and it's important to take cultural variables into consideration. And ultimately, this can help us all to remain healthy and to improve in our lives and well-being. So that is the summary. You need to hit all of these four areas very clearly. You could include these four words if it helps. And please reach out with questions.